Hi, and welcome to Horror Recapped. Today, we will be discussing a 2009 psychological horror film titled Triangle, directed by Christopher Smith. Beware, spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie begins with a woman crying while trying to console a boy who seems to be her son. The boy, Tommy, clings to his mother, Jess, as she whispers soothing words into his ears to calm him down, saying that he just had a bad dream. The next scene shows Jess's neighbor, named Jack, mowing his lawn. Jess is seen doing some chores after calling out to her son, telling him to hurry so he won't be late. Jess hears the doorbell ring while she is wiping a blue paint off the floor and leaves to attend to it, but she doesn't find anyone there. She asks Jack if he saw anyone at the door, but he replies saying, Nope. Jess goes back into her house and soon starts packing her bags, but as she sets to leave her apartment, her attention is drawn to a note attached to the door of her fridge, which reads, Greg, Le Triangle, Le Port, 8H30. She places her luggage in the car's trunk and goes inside for her son. She carries him out after he resisted coming out of his room. She drives out of her town called Sunshine State. Downey, Sally, and Heather walk into a ship named Triangle. Downey calls out Greg, who is the sailor of the ship, while Sally runs to hug Greg and they both exchange pleasantries. Sally introduces Greg to Heather as her friend. Jess arrives at the harbor with the help of Victor who we see beside her. Greg notices her presence and walks to meet Jess, leaving behind his guest after he had excused himself. Jess seems to be in a somber mood, which is noticed by Greg, and he asks if she still wanted to go on the trip, but she gives a positive answer, even though her face seems to show the opposite. Greg introduces Jess to his guest. He has a discussion with Victor about Jess's son, who was not present, as he goes to a special needs school that opens every day. Heather and Jess, who were taking a nap, later leave the cabin to the stern of the ship, where they meet Greg navigating the helm of the ship. Greg and Jess engage in a conversation, and she asks him about his relationship with his guests on the boat. Greg introduces Victor as the boy who stays with him, since he has no place to live. Victor calls Greg, saying, The wind dropped down on us. After this, the ship comes to a halt. Greg becomes aware of the situation, and soon the cloud becomes dark, causing everyone on the ship to panic. He makes an emergency call, but the line is breaking, which makes communication difficult. Greg becomes stressed about the whole situation. He looks for a way to keep the ship moving since it has come to a halt, but the situation becomes worse as the rain begins to fall heavily. They all run into a safe place inside the ship. While Victor and Greg try to make amends to prevent the ship from sinking since water had begun to enter the ship, it was breaking its way into it, and this caused the ship to be flooded with water. The ship crashes. They all fall into the water, and after the storm clears, they climb onto the overturned boat, who does not make it. They are all in a somber mood after the incident. A large ship approaches them as they wave at the ship for help. It stops for them to enter. Jess enters the ship, though she is reluctant at first. They are glad for this change in luck and hug one another. They get into the ship and call out for its occupants, but there is no reply. They look about the ship and they hear a jingling sound, only for it to be Jessie's keys. She thought she had lost them while she was on the other ship. As they continue their search, something fast passes a curtain behind them. Victor trails it, but doesn't find anyone. Greg also begins his search with Jess leaving behind Downey and Sally in the dining room. Jess tries to explain to Greg that she knows this place, and it feels like she has been here before, like deja vu. They hear a noise and trace it to a room where they find the words, Go to the theater, written with blood on a mirror. This causes Jess to freak out, but Greg feels less bothered about it which leads to a disagreement between them. Jess walks out on Greg angrily, and they go their separate ways. The couple, Sally and Downey, soon start their search and see blood on the floor. They trace the blood to the theater. Jesse goes to the dining hall of the ship, but doesn't find Sally and Downey there. She hears movement behind her and turns to see Victor drenched in blood. Jess runs to help Victor, 
but he is quick to hold her by the neck. She struggles with Victor, and she is only able to break free after she dipped her fingers into a hole behind his head, causing him to the floor. Dead, an angry Sally runs to hit Jess, claiming that Greg had said Jess shot him. The two get into an argument until Jess runs out of the theater, and she is chased by a person in a mask, causing them to fall off the ship and into the sea. Her attention is soon diverted when she hears a noise coming from outside the ship. Jess goes outside and sees herself, Greg, Sally, Downey, and Victor on an overturned boat waving at the ship she was inside. Jess recalls the situation, as it had just happened a while behind them. Jess meets Victor outside and tries to explain to him that she wasn't the one on the ship with them. She also tells him that Greg, Sally, Downey, and him, Victor, had died. In the course of explaining to him, Jess accidentally pushes him to a wall where a metal is hooked to and makes a deep hole behind his head. Jess is scared and runs into a room where she sees piles of scrambled notes with the words written in similar handwriting. She also sees lots of lockets exactly like hers. Jess realizes that she has been in the same situation a couple of times. The movie continues with Jess trying to do things differently so they can be saved. The situation leads to Jess becoming more than one. One, Jess wants to make things better and she helps Sally and Downey from the other terrible Jess, who stabs both Sally and Downey. Sally escapes and goes to the top of the ship where about a hundred lifeless bodies of Sally lay with birds feeding on them. Then the other Jess, who uses blood to write, go to the theater on a mirror. Also tells Sally and Downey to go to the theater. On Jess's way, she wears a mask and shoots Greg in the theater room. This masked Jess engages in a fight with another Jess, and the Jess without a mask is eventually knocked into the sea. Note we now have Jess 1 and Jess 2. Jess 1, Jess from the ship. Jess 2, Jess is at home. Jess 1 wakes up to see herself by the seashore and eventually finds her way home, but she finds another Jess, too, in her home with Tommy. Jess 1 is furious at this and presses the doorbell but leaves immediately. Jess 2, not seeing anyone at the door, goes back inside, but she is hit with a hammer by Jess 1. Tommy sees as Jess 2 is murdered by Jess 1 and he begins to cry. Jess 1 hugs Tommy, holding him tight and telling him it was just a bad dream as tears flow down her cheeks. Jess 1 packs Jess 2's lifeless body in a bag and places it inside the booth of a car, and Jess 1 leaves town, Sunshine State, with Tommy. On their journey, Jess bumps into a bird, and she comes out of the car to remove the carcass of the bird to the side, only to see other lifeless birds, similar to the one in her hand. Tommy is frightened, and Jess tries to calm him down. Jess is distracted while driving and collides with a moving truck. Tommy's and Jess 2's lifeless body lay on the floor, but Jess 1 stays away from the accident and observes from afar, uninjured. Jess 1 orders a cab to the harbor and on arrival, she meets Victor. He walks her to the ship. Greg comes to meet her and notices the sad look on her face, but Jess 1 doesn't mention the accident but tells Greg that her son was at school. Greg introduces Jess to his friends on the ship, and the triangle continues. Let's know your thoughts in the comments section. If you would like to look into another movie with us, then be sure to click the like button, subscribe to this channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video. Thanks for watching.